the name is difficult for me to say, folks. I'm going to do my best. Choroideremia? Yep. And explain to our audience what that is. Well, it's basically, uh, choroideremia is a, an X-linked disease. Which, which means, means? It comes from the mother. The okay. mother passes it down. Uh, women pass it down. Women very, very rarely actually show the, show the symptoms. And the symptoms are the peripheral vision goes down to nothing and then uh, really bad night vision. Um, and it, we, my brother and I both got both got it, and you know we're, we we were lucky enough to take this trip and, and actually make a make a film out of it from our, our story. Your brother Justin is younger than you, mm -hmm. and he started experiencing symptoms much earlier than you did. Is that correct? Yeah, he actually he was diagnosed back when he was in his teenage years. Because um, he had really bad night vision, not the peripheral so much when he was younger, but just night vision. And so he actually went to the specialist, and they first diagnosed him with uh, retinitis pigmentosa, macular degeneration, until they finally did a, a genetic test on him and realized that it was this, this much more rare disease called choroideremia. So he was diagnosed then, and I, I was diagnosed probably about two years before we went on the trip. Just we knew I had it. I was having night vision problems. I was having peripheral vision problems. But just to get it officially diagnosed, I went and got a genetic test done. To explain to the audience, when there are varying degrees that you can have this at, and you talk about that in the film, but explain to the audience what it looks like to look through the eyes of a person who has this condition. Um, it's kind of, it's, it's really difficult to explain. Um, but it's kind of like tunnel vision. Mm -hmm. Or, or uh, a, you know, a, a donut vision, where mm -hmm. everything out here, there's, there's just spots that are missing. Like right now, for example, I can't, I know I have a glass over here, I know my sunglasses are here, but I can't see them. So basically what my brain does, it, everywhere that's blank, it kind of fills in with similar colors, so I don't notice that there, things are missing. Mm -hmm. So if I turn my head, I can see the glass, but when I go back here, I can't see anything over here. I watched an interview with a man uh, who was also on an interview with you on Huffington Post, I believe. He was describing it, because I believe he's now a painter. Mm -hmm. His vision, he literally has just this small, almost pinhole vision, mm -hmm. and the rest of it's like a blurry kaleidoscope yeah, around it. So you still have colors, you have the sensation of color, but you only have this small area that yeah, you can see through. Yeah, it's kind of like, like the, the one thing that kind of annoys me about devices and, and, and glasses that kind of that sp are supposed to give you what it feels like is they always have blackness and it's not blackness. I kind of liken it to if you're staring down a tunnel and the tunnel is made out of, of mirrors, yeah. you can see the colors and stuff and the light but you can't but there's nothing really there. And so it, it's kind of like walking into a house of mirrors or something like that where you just it fills in and Eric, the guy you were just talking about, yeah. he's down to five percent. And when is it actually really cool when he paints, he actually has to he paints and he's takes like 10 feet back to see his picture, then he has to go back in and, cl and do the close-up work. Mm -hmm. So it basically, I think your brain is just filling in the parts that are missing, mm -hmm. and it doesn't understand why it's missing, but it's to keep you calm, to keep, keep you under control, it just fills in the picture for you.